Are you planning to rent a car on your summer vacation? Well, if so, you'll be asked if you want to buy additional insurance on the vehicle. Now, your gut probably says, no way. But it may make sense to buy the rental company's coverage even if you have your own car insurance. Here's why. In general, if your auto insurance includes collision and comprehensive coverage, then this coverage should extend to your rental car. That means if you wreck the car or damage other property with the rental car, you're covered up to your existing policy's limits. But if you file a claim on your personal policy for an accident you cause with a rented car, you risk an increase in your premiums. It may be better to pay for a loss damage waiver. That's what the rental companies call their collision coverage for the few days you're on vacation rather than risk years of higher insurance premiums. Also, in most states, personal car insurance policies do not pay for the rental company's loss of use charges. This is the money a company can charge you for the loss of rental fees it incurs while its car is in the shop for repairs. Another thing to consider, insurance coverage for personal items. When traveling with digital cameras, laptops, iPods, and other valuable property, the cost to replace damaged or stolen items can really add up. If you have homeowners or renters insurance, then the personal effects coverage offered by rental car companies may be unnecessary. But many homeowners have increased their deductibles to $1,000, even $2,500 or more to offset rising insurance rates. If you've done this, remember that only a loss in excess of the deductible will be covered by your existing insurance. Given the relatively low cost of personal effects coverage offered by rental car companies, around two bucks a day, this protection may well be worth it.